Kilo, Delta 9, Romeo Tango X-Ray. Romeo Tango X-Ray, Roger. What's the location there? I'm in West Lafayette, Indiana. Roger, West Lafayette, Indiana. What's the name? Name here is Cade, Charlie Alpha, Delta Echo. Repeat again, please. Cade, Charlie Alpha, Delta Echo. Is that Cade? Cade, Cade, Charlie Alpha, Delta Echo. Roger, Roger, Charlie Alpha, Delta Echo. And what radio are you running there? I am running a brand new uh, Yaesu FTDX10. Uh, Roger, and it's a Cade, is that a Roger? That's a Roger. All right, Cade, uh, why don't you give me about uh, 10 seconds, uh, let me listen to you, and I'll see if I can get a better antenna for us. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, I just got this FTDX10, and I'm running it through a Hustler 6 band trap vertical. Uh, this is a nice upgrade from my... Uh, this is a... Uh, this is my Roger. Okay. Uh, if you'd be interested maybe in getting your signal a little bit fatter, uh, our setup procedure starts uh, with you engaging your compressor at a 3. It's a token amount, but it does exactly what we need it to do. Compressor on and at a 3. Roger. Compressor is on and at a 3. All right, now we move to the ALC with mic gain in hand. And as you speak fairly quickly, 100, 100, 100, or 100, 200, 300, whatever it is, a faster cadence uh, to adjust, and with your mic gain uh, in hand, adjust to whether your ALC meter is running mid scale to two thirds. Mid scale to two thirds on your ALC by way of mic gain manipulation. Kilo Delta 9, Romeo Tango X-ray testing mic gain setting on the FTDX-10. And I'm running about two-thirds currently. Excellent, excellent. All righty, now, uh, why don't you tell me what you like best about your radio, and I'll listen to you a little bit more. Well, I live in a subdivision, which is a fairly high noise environment, and I'm running a vertical HF antenna, so I, I really enjoy the front end on this thing and its ability to uh, pull out weak signals. Alrighty. Uh, if you know where your equalization page is, uh, let's go there. All right, I am there. All righty. I want you to uh, do a treble EQ boost, uh, two clicks from where you are, plus two clicks boost treble EQ from where you are. Okay. Is that any better? One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, sir. Now I want you to go. To, uh, is that a three band or eight band or what kind of EQ is that? It is a three band. Alrighty, let's go to your bass EQ and crank in uh, two clicks boost bass EQ from where you are. Two clicks of bass boost. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Already, and uh, just double check to be sure your mid band EQ is flat. Your mid EQ is uh, flat, Roger. That is a Roger. Roger, Roger, yes. Uh, mid band uh, EQ should always be flat because the whole idea of uh, balancing uh, audio is uh, a, a treble EQ uh, to uh, mid range uh, um, match and a bass EQ to mid range ba uh, match. Our balance, and if you push the mid-range, it's so much harder for the bass and the treble to uh, catch up as far as balance is concerned. Roger. Uh, that's a Roger. How am I sounding now? One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Sounds really good and nice and full. So uh, I would say uh, run it like that. And uh, if you would, uh, you know, something to do as you're talking, why don't you uh, pull out your uh, ALC and watch your ALC as you speak and you develop a relationship with your ALC. Pretty soon you'll be able to command your ALC to run mid scale to two thirds uh, precisely just by your voice control. Roger. That's a Roger. I, uh, it's not something I use a whole lot, but I should really start to learn it. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. I want to give you something to do there. You can start seeing a relationship between the words that you speak and how it affects your ALC. Uh, that's the main thing. Roger. That's a Roger. 
Well, all right there, uh, uh, Cade. I appreciate you dropping by, sir. You have a great uh, afternoon, beautiful weekend. And like I said, we are recording this, and uh, we will be posting it up on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook, that will take you uh, to this recording. This will be cut number one of uh, 1950 uh, QSO Vlog recordings. Roger. Uh, that's Roger. I uh, thank you very much, and uh, this is a wonderful service you're providing to all the hams out there. So, 73, this is Kilo Delta 9, Romeo Tango X, right here. Roger, Roger, Cad. Uh, Roger, Roger, 73, sir. You have a great afternoon and a beautiful weekend. This is KC9, VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOGNET. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.